What up? Welcome back. It's Jacob from Fish and Serve Charleston. If you have not seen the channel yet, please check out some of the videos below for local fishing and surfing in Charleston. Pretty self-explanatory. I have not made a video in almost five months as far as a YouTube video and just a little check-in today and a little plug for what I've been up to because I have not just been sitting around. It's been a lot of good stuff, a lot of good fishing, a lot of good waves work, social life, learning as you get older that um, YouTube, while it does bring in some money, it definitely does not pay the bills and you could put that time and effort into something else and then just focus on making fun videos instead of the pressurized weird stuff that content creators get forced into. So but that's just me choosing a different route. I'm definitely not everyone. Um, and yeah, this is Fishing and Surfing Charleston. So. If you've been with the channel for a while, you know that I love paddle boarding and it's kind of like the staple that got me into making videos. Um, it's not like I love fishing, I, I love fly fishing and it makes me really happy and it kind of checks off a lot of boxes, but it's really, it's always been about getting on the water and getting some physical fitness and endorphins and that feeling of like, connecting with the earth for a little bit that you kind of I mean, you get with a boat but you really don't get with a boat so I prefer paddleboard I don't like kayaks because you gotta sit and it kinda hurts my back and then there's just like all this shit all over the deck and fly line gets wrapped up in it so I'm really not like a big kayaker but last year 2022 2021 yeah I think it's I think it's been a year but I got a Live Water Sports L2 Fish and kind of fell in love. Um, super stable, super shallow, catamaran hull cuts through the water and just makes it extra buoyant from side to side. So I'm running some trips this year on my skiff, my Pathfinder, which I like. It's cool. It's, it's great. Like, it really is a dream come true. But then I'm thinking like, what do I really want to share with people? And that's getting on the water my way. Like how I got into fishing. Like I didn't get into fishing with a skiff or a boat. Um, got into fishing any way I could. And that was buying a cheap used paddleboard from the local surf shop here. It was Odyssey, uh, which he now moved to Florida and owns Wicked Pineapple. But uh, I'm good friends with Brian and he kind of helped me get into paddle boarding. I did some eco tours for his business and I just love walking on water. Like you can just like see everything. You're not sitting down like in a little cockpit or anything. Um, and it uses your whole body, your core, your back, your legs, your butt. I mean, every muscle gets worked when you paddle board and I think it's just extra special to kind of check all these boxes with one activity of like spinal alignment, working out, fishing, sightseeing, um, training your balance when you're not surfing because we'll go weeks without seeing waves here or having nothing but log waves. So we got to keep a log on deck for a mid-length. That one's been a good one this year. But yeah, um, paddleboarding just always like kept my balance in check. And I remember watching videos like before Instagram was even around about how Laird Hamilton had cured his sciatica and his back problems with paddleboarding because it's such a like spinal twisting movement. Anyway, it's just all around my favorite activity because it's so good for you and so multi-benefit. So I want to share this with people. And I'm introducing Marshmallow Adventures as my new paddleboard guide service. And that's what I've been up to for the past couple of months, is gathering materials, getting some stuff in line, building a trailer. But now I can finally launch this cool little business venture of mine. And I want to say, like, I've opened a couple small businesses, and this is definitely, like, my favorite that I'm most excited about as far as little side hustles. And I'll tell you why because I get to share what I love with people. And it's really awesome to be able to introduce these paddle boards. I have four 
live water sports catamaran hauls that I haven't even unwrapped. Just renovated this trailer I bought from somebody on John's Island. And I'm really gonna I'm really gonna do it. And I'm talking about not just fishing, eco tours, dolphin cruises. This is just like, it, it's a different paddleboard. It's not just your regular like struggle balancing paddleboard. These things are top tier. They're high end, they're slick, they're fast, they're easy. The one drawback is they're a little heavier than a normal board, but I do the lifting. Customers don't even have to lift. So you get right in the water. I want to do dock light fishing at night, eco tours, moonlight paddles, fishing obviously, and that involves all fishing, fly, light tackle, uh, sheep set jigging, all kind of stuff inshore, and maybe near shore. It's a calm day, but I've just been excited. I've been working on this as opposed to working on videos because this is the stuff that makes good videos in the future, and I just wanted to let you guys know that um, good stuff's coming. And I also am trying to bundle in with this the option to rent my Airbnb. You or your loved ones want to come to Charleston and you're looking to do this and stay here and see some of the cool history that Charleston has to offer and the beaches. Um, I own a property on James Island that's really close to Folly, really close to downtown that I've rented to several of my clients and it works out and ends up saving people a chunk on lodging and then you bundle it with the guide service obviously a small part of your trip if you're doing the whole thing but it's cool and I like offering it to people um, because it makes me happy to give people an experience I've always been in hospitality grew up working in restaurants it's just fun to watch people smile when they have a good experience with you I just put on new tires with this trailer be stoked on those they were tiny tiny I'm hoping the day cleans up too because it's been crazy rainy and windy for like, I want to say like four days. But this is my old L2. Old, it's still like brand new. Um, it's going to be used. And I'm going to buy one more to actually use myself. I'm super excited about this. This is the LX. The, uh, you can see it. It's the recessed deck. And I'll do kind of an unveiling of all this stuff. I think I'm about to unwrap them now, actually, with this weather. Um, holds in fly line. It's like a higher ride and a lower deck. I'll show you, but super cool. And yesterday, I just picked up this. This is the LX motor mount from somebody local here in Charleston. And I gotta say, like, look at this thing. Compared to my motor mount, I mean, one, this is short shaft, this is long shaft. Check out the difference. This one's drilled, which probably saves, I mean, it's kind of minuscule what you think it saves, but it honestly is like, it's a lot lighter. This one is, it's a beast. I want to drill this thing up, because the holes, they, uh, they save some weight. I was skeptical, but, but yeah, long shaft, short shaft. Long shaft, 2.3 Honda. So I need to find, I want like a three or four horsepower short shaft, two stroke. See if I can get this thing like fully on a plane and just have some fun. But that's also another idea was to guide from the motorized skiff. I don't know. I just like different stuff. I don't like, someone told me why don't I just buy a nice flats boat. I'm like, I'm good, thanks. I want to do something else. Like I love having my little vintage Pathfinder. I love doing this. It's just a unique experience. You don't see the stuff in the marsh. You don't find the fish like you do when you're paddle boarding. Like you can pull and stuff, but the volumetric like waves that come off of a boat are so much more than a small little paddle board that you can just, you're so undetected. So um, below is a link to my website for Marshmallow Adventures. Please click on it. Please check it out. I'm doing introdu introductory prices, so it never hurts to hit me up. I definitely will make some deals. Even if it's a group of four out of Shem Creek, y'all just want to go see some dolphins or something. I definitely need to get some content and get some uh, marketing going on these boards, but it's fun to, I wanted to like make a first video of my intentions, what I've been up to, 
and like what this means to me because it is truly like my passion versus boating is I guess like a boater's passion but like I didn't grow up like loving just like boating I loved like fishing and I loved like being on the water but the boat made me like I know this is kind of weird but it made me like almost claustrophobic because you're like locked in you got to clean the boat after you got to um you got to service the boat you have to do all this stuff with these paddle boards it's so simple it's so like purely aquatic like you're just getting on the water you're not blasting off or anything like that um but yeah i'm stoked and i would appreciate your support and if you know anybody that you think would like this idea or you would like a trip send them my way i'll definitely be grateful let's unwrap these things i want to see these also quick shout out to live water sports uh, they gave me all these boards at a great deal to market them here in charleston and to sell them so if you're interested in a board let me know cut these things open Oh, that smell. It smells like a new boat. And that's because these things are made like boats. Like they build the bottom and then they put this cap on the top. The bottom, the bottom is a mold and the inside is completely hollow. That's why they're so light. Like I said, they're heavy, but like compared to like normal paddle boards, like a 25, 30 pound paddle board, these are 50. So they are like a little heavier but you get that back in stability, you get that back in usability, ease. All right, so fast forward a couple days. I've been editing all the footage from this video this morning and some of it's unplayable. So all the unwrapping stuff you guys didn't get to see. So this is basically what I went over. Two L2s of teak, look absolutely flawless. And the LX is like the sickest pattern board I've ever seen in my life. Tarpon scales are super sick. Everything's like crispy. Mm. Always like the LX with the Yak Attack mounts. They're just a little more low profile and not quite as all over the board. This is also two inches skinnier, meaning width side to side. The recessed deck is going to be really good for clients with fly line and myself with fly line. And then I basically went over this mount that I got and kind of compared and contrasted the differences in lightness with the older model. So you have the older Edmunds Metalworks L2 motor mount, which sits flush with the board's transom. And then this is the newer model, like SUP Customs, which is awesome motor mount and it sits a little further up but man what a piece of art makes me want to drill that one all over because this one's so light and it fits further back so it's going to be a little more room on the board a little less all in my face look at how much this motor mount just kind of takes over the deck not one bit of deck has been taken over with this and then my L2, which has survived oysters and barnacles and rocks and all kind of crap. Such a good board. I'll probably be riding that one. Let me get one more board. But yeah, this is it. This is sick. I'm stoked to get this going. If you're ready, get on some fish, hit me up. I'm going to order one more one more outboard 
And then I'm gonna also offer mini skip trips, meaning just you and me or you and a friend, take these out, get on fish, cruise them around, do whatever you want. It's gonna be awesome, stoked. This has been my life lately, the last big change. Boom. Yes, I have a three week old baby. And I'm stoked, it's been awesome. And even more stoked that now my work time will be spent on the water, which will be, you know, with a newborn baby a little harder, but I appreciate all the support. If you haven't already, follow Marshmallow Adventures on Instagram. I'll see you on the next video. Message me, text me, whatever about questions, the trips. I'm open for anything. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a good one.